So, it is 9.17 p.m. on the 7th of December, 2015. We have two months, two months of Christmas celebrations, being scared half out of our wits because someone says that Islam or Sharia law is coming in with the Syrians. I don't think that's what's happening. You see, the thing about ISIL, ISIS, is they are a cell. Many of them were born here. They were brought here before their parents had them. They were trained, or as some call, brainwashed, and trained here and educated here in the United States. They are here already. They didn't come in through the Syrians. They didn't come in through ports. They came in on a plane. They landed. They started businesses and homes. And some went to Boeing to learn how to fly planes. As in 9-11. This is something that people don't realize. You can put a wall up around your borders. You can disallow people to come into your homeland. But you can't stop from a plane going under the radar and dropping people off. Terrorists. I don't think that Mr. Trump is aware of how this works or why it works. All I know is, is he's screaming a lot of in, un, uh, unintelligent rhetoric that only he can do. What is a terrorist? Well, there is local terrorism, which is the Oklahoma mass. There's also terrorism that literally is born here. Yeah. Pakistani, Iraqi, Afghanistan, Iran, they are what they are, but their main identity is either Al-Qaeda, ISIS, or they are part of the Jihad. And the Jihad are the ones that mark themselves proud that they are because they give their lives for Allah. How do you keep them from coming over the border? You can't. They come in under the radar. They come in so many ways. Do you think that this is only an Arab issue? It's not. It hasn't been. I think the American people are being misled terribly from a person named Donald Trump. He is a bigot. He doesn't like Latinos. He doesn't like Muslim. He definitely doesn't like anything that's black. I saw his st statistics on blacks. You know, the man does not like brown or the different shades of brown. He also forgets that crime happens in little places, like in cells. They don't come in countries. They don't come in towns. They come in groups of five or six or seven or eight. That does not make a town, nor does it make a city. It makes a cell. They have communications, which I'm sure and positive, or absolutely positive, that our United States military has their ears to the ground on that. There is a way to tell. Only they know. I have no clue. You can keep out Syria. But remember, if America ever needs help, real help, and we may need it soon, sooner than Mr. Trump believes, his arrogance is beyond arrogant, that Canada can say no, so can Mexico, so can Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, Italy, Spain. England, France, they can all say, I'm sorry, 
No Americans loud. Found you lo <laughs> find you loud, bossy, hysterical. You make up things to make it look your way and good. How would we feel for a few that are arrogant like Mr. Trump? England is thinking about not, rely, not allowing Trump ever again in their country, and they are allowed to do that. I wouldn't allow him anywhere in the United States let alone in another country. The problem is the Mars is not available yet for human life. I could see we put him in a little bubble. And in that bubble, we will be fortunate. <sighs> oh my God. We'll be fortunate to see him running around Mars like a gerbil. He is a gerbil. Though I do like gerbils and hamsters, so maybe I won't put him in that category. He is a man that is a billionaire who is backing himself. He talks with gibberish. He knows nothing of 9-11. He knows nothing of international laws. He knows nothing about international <laughs> anything. Does he know how to talk to a prime minister? Does he know how to talk to a president? Does he know how to talk to somebody that's in charge of something in Italy? Does he know how to talk to the Pope? In Rome, just in case he forgot. I'm, uh, I'm interested. I'm, I'm interested to find out what's going to happen. I'm interested in knowing why. That man is a ticket to World War III. If he gets in, we get something worse than what the Christians call the Antichrist. We get hell up front. There's no time for an Antichrist. We have Donald Trump. Anybody willing to take him in? Just wanting to know. Good night.